What's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Toys Review. Today I am going to be reviewing Steve Slick LePage, which was suggested to me by DJ Cookie last night during my live stream. And um, before we get into the video, speaking of the live stream, the reason why you don't see it up on the channel is because I deleted it. Not because I hated the live stream, I deleted it because I had a little bit of an issue uploading it and it didn't upload correctly. So I would just delete it. So if you guys are wondering, if you join the stream, if there's not why there wasn't any stream in the channel, that's why because it doesn't it didn't upload correctly, so I had to delete it. So anyways, let's get into a review with this amazing next gen, which I have said many times, this is my most favorite next gen racer to be released so far, just because of all the metallic green and the shininess of it. So, you can see right here it says Trunk Fresh, and I like that, I like the detail of like the green is swooping in, and then it swoops on the back as well. I, I would compare this to like the Cars 1 Next Gen Racer, which is Dirksen Diegosen, I believe that's his name, but I don't have him. Sadly, I did have him, but something happened to him or a friend was going to give it to me and he lost it. I don't know. But I don't have them at the moment. You can see he has a determined expression. Like he's showing his white teeth. And there's the rims. It reads light ear. Right here you can see the sponsors. I don't think you can technically read it because of the shininess. But that's the pissing cup. Yeah, I'll just read off another next gen racer next to me. Uh, yeah, it's a piston cup, combustor, carbon, synergy. Yeah, synergy and and carbon, cyber. Those are the sponsors. The base is sponsor. These are the sponsors, pretty much. You just can't tell it because like it's gold and like it's faded into like this metallic, shiny lime green. He's number thirty-four. There's arrow telling where the pity should lift them up. There's his exhaust pipe, which is actually like has indents into the casting. It's pretty cool. There's trunk fresh again. And there is the gas cap. But I thought these oh yeah. That's because also have a gas cap. Almost forgot about that. On the back, here's these rookie stripes. Number 34 again, and trunk fresh on the other side. On his spoiler, it reads Trunk Fresh with a, a dark green and then a lighter green on this side. And he's number 34. Like, I like the way that they try to correlate it. Because, like, because you see here on Trunk Fresh, it's white and then it turns these letters right here turn black because it was white. You could see on the gold and then they turn it white again. I like that they were like able to change the colors in some areas to like make them look clearer but I wish like the sponsors were like a little different of a color or like a little bigger but you can kind of read it it says 34 again and there's a grass pipe in the arrow so yeah that's basically it for Steve Slick the page here so now I just do Compare it to other amazing next gen bases. So, first we compare it to Jackson Storm, which you guys all know. He's one, I believe he's the least hardest one to find. But I think it's him, Chandler. You can see the details are a little different. He was Tim Treadless. He also has like a metallic red on him. Similar to his green, but not quite. But he has his metallic red. That's why I like Tim Treadless so much, because of the metallic red. He was actually my favorite next gen racer until I got the next gen 4 pack. Which was like a month or two ago. And now, on to the other ones. Here is JP McPillar. 
JD big fitter. Sorry about that. He's full RPM. I like the multi cutters on JD McPitter. Like it, it kind of reminds you of like a sunset, doesn't it? Like all those bright colors mixed in. These are actually similar models. Here's, yeah. Here's flipped over, which I reviewed, I believe, two days ago. These are actually the same exact model. Flip Dover is actually a pretty cool car with the white pink and it's white. And last but not least, oh no, sorry, this is JD McPitter. The one RPM is Barry D. Pedal. This is Barry D. Pedal, sorry about that. This is JD McPitter. So I confused the names there. Yeah, JD McFitter is my least favorite. But they're all pretty cool. Next gens, in my opinion, I like more than the cars. So the stock cars are cars to me. But I don't have all the next gens, I don't have all the stock cars. So. Kinda of hard to tell. But anyways guys, that is actually it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully later today there will be a hunt coming out. If not, expect it out tomorrow. And um yeah. Thank you guys uh so much for watching this and see you guys later. Bye.